Hi guys, Candy here, welcome back. Today is a first impressions and a wee bit of a demo on the Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafe set. That's their new Christmas set that's just been released. Uh, in particular, this little demo first impressions is just focusing on the eggnog latte palette so I've just solely used this palette the other two palettes I'm gonna do separately as well and they're gonna be listed down below in the description bar if you want to check out those I decided to do these as three different separate demos just to kind of give you a really good idea of what these palettes actually look like individually and what they're actually capable of individually it's all good and well they have three little different palettes that you kind of mix and match which believe me I will be doing but I thought that it was really important that if a brand is going to bring out a Christmas set of palettes that actually each palette should be able to be standalone and it should actually be able to be gorgeous pretty much solely on its own so if you want to see how I created this and how I feel about this palette then just keep watching okay so I have already applied my bronzer and now I'm up to blush and of course this little palette comes with a blush and this blush is called Peach Cobbler and I guess it's a little bit of a peachy pink tone. That is a really nice blush shade. Again, it's nothing like super unique. It's nothing, you know, I mean a peachy sort of coral shade. It's pretty st stock standard. So now I'm just going to quickly go and apply some highlighter and I'm just going to be using Champagne Pop. So I'm planning on doing a halo eye with my green shade here called Central Perk and probably using cold brew I think this shade here in the middle is sort of the spotlight so to start I'm going to be using my color tattoo by Maybelline and this one is in ready set green and this is just a really really stunning metallic green I'm just going to use this on the first third and the last third but I'm going to be putting that green just to help give it you know quite a striking base just to just to help give it a bit more oomph and as a base for the rest of my eye I'm going to be popping on this shade called Frosty Nog and this one is really just sort of a cream shade cream matte shade I'm just going to pop that all over my lid except for the areas that I've just put the green the smell is quite strong I think this is probably the strongest out of all three palettes I don't know what even on taste like but it smells good and just placing the shade Skinny Latte which is a really good matte transition shade I'm just going to pop that in my crease and now I'm going to be popping this green shade Central Perk, which is so cute because that was the name of the cafe and friends, as I'm sure we all know. I'm going to pop that now on top of the green base that I popped on earlier. And to help my spotlight pop a wee bit more, I'm also going to pop on a white eyeshadow base just on the center. So because Cold Brew is quite a glittery shade, I'm going to just help it along a little bit by spraying my brush with MAC Fix Plus. And taking the same brush without adding any more Fix Plus or anything to it, I'm just going to dip it in Eggnog Latte and that's that really beautiful sort of glittery gold. And I'm just going to place that in the very center of Cold Brew. And just cleaning up my brows, I'm just going to pop that uh, Frosty Nog just underneath my brow bone just to clean it up a wee bit. For a little bit more of a Christmas spark, I'm going to be popping on my Makeup Revolution. This is the Awesome Metals Eyeshadow and this one is in Rose Gold. I'm just going to place this on my inner tear duct with my finger. I absolutely love, 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 love this product. It is just amazing. Okay, I'm just going to apply some liner and lashes and then that will be my eyes done. Okay, so that's my eyes put together and I just used the uh, little sample size of the Better Than Sex mascara that comes in the holiday kit and I also popped on my lashes and these are the J Lash and these are in number 43. For lippy, I'm going to be using this Colourpop Ultramate Lip and this one is in Vice. I'm pretty sure this is one of their newer range that came out just recently. And this is an ultra light sort of uh, milkshake pink. And if there's anything I know, it's that pinks go quite well with greens. And that's the finished look. I am so happy with how this turned out. I am really actually quietly impressed with the eyeshadows. Um, I'm noticing lately with Too Faced products, when you swatch the shadows, the swatched, it comes out really patchy, it comes out really not pigmented, but when you're actually putting them on the eyes, it's actually a totally different story, and I'm not too sure as to why, why particularly a brush would probably apply it better than a finger or or anything like that. That's a little bit of a mystery to me. I love the scent of this palette. I'm from New Zealand, so I can't tell you what eggnog tastes like. I've actually never tried eggnog. I feel like I'm missing out on life, but it kind of weirds me out that it's raw egg a little bit. Hmm, Kiwi problems. 
it does have a really cinnamony sort of smell. It does smell like Christmas. These colours are just so beautifully festive and so beautifully Christmas. I could easily wear this sort of to a Christmas dinner or a Christmas lunch. It, it, the green is just beautiful. The shade Cold Brew tends to be a little bit different to any other Too Faced shadow that I own. It seems to be a different consistency. It's slightly creamier. It's loaded with glitter. So that's something that I haven't really particularly seen too much from Too Faced. I feel like this could be like a new formula, which is really awesome if it is, and I hope they keep bringing out more of these because they are stunning. So like I said, the other two palettes will be listed down below once I've completed those, so definitely check out that description bar. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and you'll be seeing my face in the next one.